Hey, how you doing, Paseros y Paseras? Welcome to Twin Hoods. This is Andres Arrieta, and I got 10 of the best trucks of history. In the number 10, we get the Ford Ranger. Was first built in 1983, and it was the first compact pickup truck of the Ford Motor Company. The first Ranger was produced on January 18 of 1982. And by the month of March, Ranger were already in showrooms around the United States. The first Ranger price was just 6,203 US dollars. The Ranger was made for replace of the Ford Courier. It had a lot of key differences that will make it a better pickup truck for many buyers. It had additional engine choices, adding a V6 and a four-cylinder diesel engine option to the standard inline four-cylinder. It also had a six or seven foot long bed it has a strong and reliable chassis, which is capable of taking a variety of road challengers. Yeah. It has a very comfortable interior with plenty of room for passengers and cargo. This workhorse of a truck is the test until today they can be seen working like the first day. The Ford Ranger now is by the fourth generation, like this one right here of the 2023 with a lot of features, making of this truck one of the best trucks of history. In the number nine, we got the Mitsubishi L200, was first built in 1978. And it was a pickup truck made by the Mitsubishi Motor Company. It was originally known as the Mitsubishi Forte in Japan from 1978 to 1986, the first generation of this vehicle. Then, after in 1991, come back as the name Estrada in the United States and Japan. Mitsubishi marketed as the Mitsubishi Might Mass until 2002. This vehicle came with many names. One of them was by Chrysler, named Dodge Ram 50, the famous D50. It came with many styles of engines, such as the 1.6 liter and the 2.0, also the 2.6 and the 2.3 diesel and the 2.5 diesel also. The second generation model was introduced in 1986 for mass markets. In Australia, this model was introduced in October of 1986 as the low-cost Triton. In 1996, a new generation model was released with a 2.5 liter turbo diesel engines developing 103 horsepower. Other engine options include two system belts fuel injected gasoline engines and a naturally aspirated diesel. The fourth generation Triton was released in 2005 with an engine of 2.5 liter turbo diesel developing 
180 horsepower. The fifth generation of this vehicle came in 2015. This generation came with different engine options, such as the 2.4 liter gasoline engine and the 2.5 liter diesel engine. With the option of six-speed manual transmission or five-speed manual transmission. It also have a five-speed automatic transmission. On March 21 of the 2023, Mitsubishi was gonna release the 2023 sixth generation Triton L200 with many expected extras. And in the number eight, we get the Jeep CJ, or civilian Jeep, was first built in 1945 through 1986, and it was the second generation of the Jeep brands. The beginning of the Jeep CJ dates back to the origin of the Jeep itself. A history that began on the 11th of July of 1940 when the U.S. Department of War sent out a urgent request for a manufacturer to design and build a prototype quarter-ton full-drive vehicle with only a term of time of 49 days produced an initial run of 70 vehicles. From 1944 to 1945, the CJ2 was leased, had many significant differences in body features and constructions. The third generation of the CJ was introduced in 1949 and it was in production until 1953. The CJ4 or Willys Overland was only built on an experimental concept in 1950 and the new CJ5 was introduced in 1954 to 1983. The successor of the CJ was the Jeep Wrangler in 1987. The Jeep CJ is a classic vehicle that has been loved by generations of off-road enthusiasts. It's known for its roughness and durability, as well as its classic styling. And in the number seven we get the International Harvester Scout was first built in 1960 through 1980 and it was the first vehicle in his class of help, the four-wheel drive by the factory. The Scout models has varied variants, such like the Scout 80 from the 1960 to the 1965, that was the original. Internationals offered the Scout with a variety of engines over its years of production. Scout SSII were awarded honors for off-road racing during the late 70s. It was the first mass-produced four-wheel drive vehicle produced in the USA. It was powered by an international Harvester V8 engine, big. It was available in two and four doors models. The Scout was powered by a variety of engines, including a V6 inline six cylinder and the powerful V8. It was made until 1980 when it was re replaced by the Scout 2. 
this vehicle has become in an icon of road vehicle with its classic styling and timeless design. In the number six, we get the Volkswagen Type 2. Was first built in 1950. The Volkswagen Type 2 was officially produced the 8th March of 1949. In the late 1967, the second generation of the Volkswagen Type 2 was introduced. It was built in West Germany until 1979. The third generation of the Volkswagen was released in 1979 and was one of the last new Volkswagen platforms to use an air cooler engine. In 2015 was released the sixth generation of this vehicle, offering a six diesel engine with 204 horsepower. And in the number five we got the Ford F-150. The Ford F-150 is a full-size pickup truck that has been made by the Ford Motor Company since the 1975 and is the best car selling in America and in the second best car selling in the whole world. <laughs> really love it. The Ford F-150 has been the America best selling pickup truck for over four decades. The first Ford F-150 was released in 1975, replacing the outgoing F-100 model. The Ford F-150 has been available in a wide variety of configurations from regular cab to extended cab and crew cab models was available with a range of bed lengths from a 6 foot to a 8 foot bed. Ford has sold more than 34 millions of F-150 since the 1975. The second generation of the F-150 was released in 1987 and it comes with a 5.0 liter V8 engine with electric fuel injection engine. In 1992, the third generation of the F-150 was released. In this generation, there was the building the high performance truck known as the Lightning. This vehicle comes with many options in the engines such like the 2.7 liter EcoBoost twin turbocharger V6 that delivers 325 horsepower and the 5.0 BCT V8 400 horsepower. Also the 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbocharger V6 that developed 400 horsepower and many other engines. The 12th generation of the M150 was introduced in 2009 and has the powerful EcoBoost engine. By the 2015, the 13th generation of the F-150 arrives with a lot of features, such like the bed of aluminum with a low weight. This vehicle pickup truck is so great that it's been through 14 generations until today. The 14th generation of the F-150 series was introduced for the 2021 models. Optional gasoline electric hybrid powertrain was introduced for the first time in a Ford light truck.
And in the number four, we got the Toyota Hilux. Was first released in 1968. And since then, the brand has been gone through eight generations. The Hilux started production in March of 1968 with a 1.5 liter inline four stroke engine that gives around 76 horsepower. The second generation of the Toyota Hilux was released in May of 1972. It had the option of the 2.0 liter. 18R engine was available in Japan as well with a 3-speed automatic transmission available as an option that gives 119 horsepower. The third generation of this vehicle came out in August of 1979 with a four-wheel drive variant introduced in 1979. The fourth generation was released in August of 1983, redesigned, sold as model year in 1984 vehicles in North America. The fifth generation was arrived in 1988. In this generation, the grill has received some changes with the new Toyota emblem that had been recently in the vehicles. The sixth generation came out in 1997 until 2004 in many engine options such like gasoline or diesel. The eighth and last generation came out in 21 of May of 2015 in Bangkok, Thailand. With a great quality, the Hilux is gonna be always a good option as a good truck. In the number three, we get the Dutch Ram was first introduced in 1981 as a light duty pickup truck. First generation of Dutch Ram was introduced in October of 1980 with many different engines such like the 225 slant 6 and the 318 also the 360 B8. The run was immediately success with Dutch selling more than 150,000 units in the first year of production. The second generation and my favorite one was released in 1994 of the Dodge Ram 1500 with a lot of features. The fourth generation of the Dodge Ram was released in 2009 and features a redesigned stereo increased power and fuel efficiency was available. The fifth generation Ram made his debut at the 2018 North America International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. With a lot of new features, such like the increasing of the tow capacity with more of 1,200 pounds. With the 2018 3.0 liter Eco Diesel V6 Diesel with 240 horsepower is a great option to go off-roading 
go to the rivers and have fun with a lot of great moments. For 2022 all RAM classic model receive an awesome upgrade connect 5, 8 and 4 inch touchscreen very great and very beautiful with a lot of technology features as you can see here. And in the number two, we got the Chevrolet CK. Was first introduced in 1960 through 1998. Nice truck. Mm -hmm. The first generation of CK truck were produced from the 1960 to the 1966. Also called Chevrolet Apache and Chevrolet Viking. With many engine options such like the 230 cubic engine turbo Chevrolet with 3 speed manual transmission, also 4 speed manual transmission and, and the automatic 2 speed power glitch. The new model was introduced with a redesigned body style with many other changes. It sat on the leather frame that allowed the cab to sit lower than before. From 1960 through 1962, all models will use a torsion bar front suspension and trailing arm suspension in the rear. The CK line was often in both rear wheel drive or four wheel drive options. The CK line was available with many cargo options, such like the CK1500 that was the basic, and the other was the 2.500, and the other one was the 3.500 CK, the most powerful and capable full-size truck offered by Chevrolet. It was maximum of tow rating of up to 7 thousand pounds. The Chevrolet CK will be the production truck for many years until the famous Silverado naming took over in the 1999. Some CK basic models were produced until 2002. And in the number one, we got this beauty, the Ford Model T, also known as the Tim Lisi, was first built in 1908 through 1927. What a beauty. The Ford Model T is a vehicle that was produced by the Ford Motor Company from October 1 of 1908 to May 26 of 1927 with an engine of 2.9 liter that gives 20 horsepower by the time was a good option for running around in the city or in the fields. This car gives a top speed of 42 miles per hour. This vehicle weights 1,200 pounds only. It was the first car to be able in different colors options. Was also the first car to give an electric starter option. The Model T is a real wheel drive vehicle. Its transmission is a gear type known as the Type 3 speed. In today's terms, is known that has two speed because one of them was the reverse. When this card was released, the price was 825 US dollars. The Ford Model T was the first vehicle built by various countries 
at the same time, with over 15 million vehicles produced worldwide. was available in a variety of body styles, including roster, coupe, sedan, and touring car. It definitely was an iconic vehicle for humankind. This is Andres Arrieta, and I'll see you soon.